right now I'm in the middle of putting on masking tapes on all the parts that I just painted so I can give it another layer of color. Some parts are okay while others will definitely benefit from it. And I did put them on uh, maskings like here on this part here under the foot. These old parts to the side I was going to mask it off to paint the edges but I think that's going to be too much for me so what I'll do is I'll just paint the whole thing. Let me just put it on this. Nope. Give me that. Yeah, you can you can get away with certain parts that you can paint individually, and then there are others that are like, okay, no, you're gonna you're gonna have to put some masking tape around some parts. Some parts took me a little was a little difficult to do. Like for example, this one to get everything around that and that and just to paint the next color and I gotta be very careful of course when I paint because I may oversaturate something so I'll have to revisit the part and remask it so these are going to be painted I'm going to put it here on the side this gun just very little parts I covered up and then I'll unmask you know it's that 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 here this whole part will be painted but um, the lens, I gotta cover it up and paint that. Well, not cover up the lens, cover up the part that shows just the lens. Or I could pretty much yank off that yellow part, which would be a pain to remove. This is part of the, the missile pod, which I'll be painting that the next color. And the over the shoulder cannon. Get that taken care of as well. But I gotta do the red parts too. That's another thing. So I'm gonna show off me doing one of the red parts. And the pre shading came out really nice, as you can see. Look, I could easily just give it a wash, but I want to give it that extra layer color tone. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in on that. Cut some strips here. Put that here. Get the other one day off, so there we go. I think that's pretty much it, but I think hold on. There's uh, some detail parts here, but not to mask off and paint. Yeah, want something like that. Do I have anything for this? Let me see. Uh, no, we're okay with this. But this, 
since it's still part of the leg. Well, the, yeah, maybe you get that and that done. But that's going to take me some time to actually mask this whole thing up and prepare. Plus the fact that I just ran out of masking tape here on the table where I do, um, when I do my pre-cuts. But I'll put that right there for now. These subtle differences is is what matters when you when you mask these things off. There we go. Make sure you apply pressure so you don't miss out on anything. Oops, and this came off. So there we go. Might as well cut pre-cut this to me something here. I want to get this one too, but if not, we'll leave it alone. All right, with uh, with this, a few other parts here. I'm going to review the remaining parts, the red parts, and then we'll begin with the extra layer of color. All right, we're going to paint these parts using Moto Metallic uh, Gunmetal. Moto's Gunmetal that I have here. Actually, this is not it. It's this one right here. Let me just give it a mixture first. Put it a little bit here. painting this all gunmetal but I did put a mark, uh, strip there here and here Hold this whole thing off, or I can use a um, one of those templates, circle templates, and cover it up and then paint it yellow. This is the missile pods. We'll be peeling these off and see how they look once it's dry. This one's the actual leg part, the uh, sorry, the ankle uh, circle part. It's done. This is the behind the back of the leg. I'm gonna do this. part the side skirt armor hold on I'm gonna make sure this looks good
taken care of. Okay, that's nice. Very nice. The bottom part of the foot. Good. Back skirt armor. But only this little area here. Artillery gun. I think I have enough, enough gun metal for a couple of, a couple of blasts. Here's the uh, um, um, bicep armor part, which is only this little part right here. That's all. And uh, here's the knee part. I was gonna do that, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it. So that should be good enough right there. And then this one right here. There's not much detail there other than other than the, the little notches there which can be done with um, with a wash or panel lining. And then of course the beam rifle. I think I'm also running out of pressure. Until it dries, and then remove the second paint, the grip as well. Okay, I have more parts to paint, but I'm gonna have to recharge the uh, compressor. Give me some time to finish that. Then uh, I'm not gonna show off me painting the white since it's very few parts. That and also the yellow parts is also very few yellow. Once I'm done, we'll put it on the table and we'll review. All right, here are some of the parts that finally finished painting and I wanted to remove the masking tape to see how it looks. This one is very simple, of course. Showing the underside of this. Yeah, I could have easily masked off and show up these and this, but this is just a simple way of doing it. So there you go. Then we have this part here.
Should be okay, I guess. Don't know how well it would look once the armor's on, but we'll see what happens. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, that's not, not bad. I have this one here. Okay. I was not fond of how I did all this, but let's see what happens. set up. I'm seeing some issues here. So like on this side came out okay to a point and then this one bled in out the paint. I mean that's a, that's a quick fix. I'll have to just cover that up and paint it. But that's alright. Um, yeah that came out good as well. Let's go with the red part. Um, yeah. Hmm, oh, that's all right. Good. This one's actually very really simple. Yep. I have to admit, this red is a nice color, especially if you guys are planning to get the perfect um, real grade Epion and use it on that so just saying Ah, there should be a better way of removing masking tapes. Come on, there we go. Okay. We're not done yet. Come on, get up. Yep, I think this one. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's that little one there. Yeah, Alright. Nothing to write home about. Very minute detail there. This one I did meticulously put these on right there. Uh, 
And I know I put something here. Oh, this, these nippers are, not nippers, um, tweezers are very, very sharp, so you gotta be very careful. Uh, I know there's one here. I may have inadvertently scarred some parts here. This is a small sample of all the, uh, ugh, all this, yeah, all this, uh, masking tapes I just put on this kit. I still have a few more to do and, um, figure it out. Let me continue on, review the parts, and place it on the table so we can all see it together. Alright, here are all the parts that make up the gun cannon cuckoo's dolan island type looks pretty good just double check on a few things make sure they look good I had issues with the yellow for whatever reason uh, I had very little yellow from the gun that well no I had a bottle of the Mr. C uh, Gundam Colors uh, Yellow, which apparently I must I must have put in a little bit too much thinner inside the bottle to get the most out of the paint, but it came out too uh, too watery, you could say. Which it'll be great if you spray from a distance, but if you do close, it will pull up. So you got to be I had to be very careful. I had to end up using uh, pure yellow right out of the bottle and allow it to you know saturate so I was trying to do it on this on the um, assault rifle which kind of didn't come out the way I wanted as you could see there not too pleased with that but I'm I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I'm yeah like that um I may mm, I think maybe I kind of not did a good job with with the, I mean, the color for gray is fine, but maybe using the gunmetal was too strong. It's metallic, right, but I should have used a lighter metallic tone. And in all due fairness, I think one the reason why I did this is because um, the metallic gray, which I have, was already, I ran out. I got to take stock at what I have and figure out what I want to use. I should have used like German gray or dark gray, which should blend in with this. That should have been an appropriate way of doing it. But, you know, all right. But I think what I'm more impressed is the pre shading that came out with this. Right now, you don't see it, but once I put this kit together, you're going to see how it looks. And I was, I think it's going to come out, come out pretty good. The white parts almost seems gray. I should have gave it a little bit more white, maybe, um, Maybe I could I could do a um, what do you call it a 
a shading of white, like a little bit in areas, but my airbrush needs to be cleaned and I don't want to waste too much time. I'm, I'm going to move on to the next step. Um, but everything else looks okay. Looks okay. I hope you guys think it looks okay too. Let's put it together and see how it looks.